Welcome to the section 4, Visual Force Pages. In this section, we are going to take a look at enabling the existing Visual Force Pages for the Lightning, as well as using the Visual Force Pages in the Lightning Pages. Also, we will see adding the Lightning Components in Visual Force Pages, that is Lightning Components for Visual Force Pages. In short, we call ALC for VF, creating a simple Visual Force Page. In this video, we are going to take a look at demo of creating a simple Visual Force page by keeping the option deselected. What is it? Available for Lightning experience to test it whether the Visual Force page is available for use in Lightning App Builder or not. So, it is not going to be available in the Lightning App Builder because we are keeping it deselected. Well, first we will create a Visual Force page and try to use it in the Lightning App Builder. We are doing mistake and let's understand then we will select it and we will use it. Going to the setup, search for Visual Force Pages. Right, so create a simple Visual Force page. You have option available for Lightning Experience. Defaultly deselected. I am not selecting it. Simple output text component, Visual Force component. Simple styling part. Save it. Quick save means you have saved it and in edit mode. You want to have a preview how the Visual Force page is going to be. Now let's try to use this Visual Force page in the Lighting App Builder. So you are in account record page, editing page. In the standard components, you have Visual Force. Try to drag and drop it somewhere. Right. It's saying invalid component. Once I click on this, you see at the right side the configuration of Visual Force page. It is saying Visual Force page. No Visual Force pages are available. And you can give the frame height also. Let's enable the Visual Force page for Lightning. Coming to the Visual Force page edit mode. Select this option. Save. Sufficient. Let's come back to the app builder. Try to reload the page. Instead of logging out, logging in, let me check once whether it is working. If it works, that's fine for me now. Scroll down where you have Visual Force page, drag and drop wherever you want to put it. So, you see, once you click on this, look at the right side. You receive all the Visual Force pages that are enabled for the lighting experience. You see it here. Once you save, go back, test it. You can use this Visual Force page on other types of templates also. Hello world. If the Visual Force developers have made any changes here, for example, so they have put something global variable user and users, first name, last name. Now, system admin user is logged in. When he uses his page, he will see his name over there. If the test user logs in, so he looks his name over there. The Visual Force developers have made some changes. Let's see in lighting experience. Reload. You see, hello, so and so. My name, my first name, my last name. I have logged in. System admin user. If the other user logs in, his name will be there. How we have enabled our Visual Force pages for the lighting? Simply we have selected the option available for lighting experience and tried without deselected and tried with selected. Then you can also have the lighting styles in Visual Force. You can also make the Visual Force page look exactly like the Lightning page using Lightning styles. And I hope I am not discussing here. We have section 5, the last section, the Lightning Design System, Salesforce Lightning Design System, where we can understand the Lightning styles and how to apply them.